Good morning friends, welcome to SNRJ Investment Academy. Today we will be comparing uh, between Glenmark Pharmaceuticals Limited and Glenmark Life Sciences Limited. This video is as per the request from one of our viewers who commented below my previous video uh, Glenmark Life Sciences Limited to know about the differences between these two companies and the financial which is a better option. So today's video we will be discussing all these things. If you have any similar queries uh, uh, about any of our videos, please mention in below the video so that we can take it up for further videos. First, we will be uh, comparing about the basic things in general. So the uh, you can see that in this slide I have mentioned in two parts. One is Glenmark Pharmaceutical Limited. One table is there, and other is Glenmark Life Sciences Limited. The Glenmark Pharmaceutical Limited is the parent company and uh, it has subsidiaries and one of sub the subsidiary of uh, Glenmark Pharmaceuticals is the Glenmark Life Sciences Limited. So the main company, parent company is Glenmark Pharmaceuticals and the subsidiary is uh, Glenmark Life Sciences Limited. The, then we have uh, uh, Glen for Glenmark Pharmaceuticals, it's a big company and it has very diversified portfolio. Whereas uh, Glenmark Life Sciences is mainly concentrated uh, having uh, API portfolio, active pharmaceuticals ingredients. So uh, the uh, the two company differences is that one is having diversified portfolio and one is having concentrated portfolio of APIs. Actually, the GLS was part of Glenmark Pharmaceuticals only. Recently, only it got listed from Glenmark Pharma. It, the API business of uh, Glenmark Pharma got separated and made a new company, Glenmark Farm Life Sciences Limited. And it got listed recently. And uh, the Glenmark Pharmaceuticals are having, uh, it's a MNC with the presence in more than 80 countries and uh, they have a very wide variety of products also. That is the main peculiarity of Glenmark Pharma. Whereas the Glenmark Life Sciences is limit, uh, limited is having on APA uh, business and they have some other business but 90% of their revenues are coming from APA only and they may, uh, out of that 43% of the revenues are from exports and uh, Glenmark Pharmaceuticals Limited is having 4 R&D centers with 950 patents whereas uh, Glenmark Life Sciences is having 40 patents and they are having some pending patents also and they have uh, a portfolio of uh, 120 molecules so these molecules are mainly used for these APIs so API molecules 120 molecules they have so these are the main difference between these co two companies in general. We will be uh, next slide. We'll be uh, going through the uh, financial uh, comparison also how the company both companies are performing. So if we are uh, comparing these co two companies, we have uh, parameters for uh, market cap. Uh, the Glenmark Pharma is a big company and 11,235 crore market cap is having Glenmark Pharma and whereas Glenmark Life Sciences is 5,000 crore company. P is uh, similar 11.7 uh, and uh, 12. The dividend yield uh, for Glenmark Pharma it's only 0.63 percentage whereas Glenmark Life Sciences 5.14 percentage dividend yield is there. And ROC, if you compare the Glenmark Life Sciences is having a ROC of 42.2 percentage, whereas Glenmark Pharma only 16 percentage. And ROE also Glenmark Pharma 13.6 percentage and uh, Glenmark Life Sciences 29.9 percentage. The debt to equity ratio uh, Glenmark Pharma is having 0.44, whereas Glenmark Life Sciences is zero, means uh, that is a debt fee company. OPM 18 percentage for Glenmark Pharma and uh, Glenmark licenses 28.4 percentage. Profit variance 3 years uh, 10 per 10.3 percentage for Glenmark Pharma and uh, Glenmark licenses in 28.8 percentage. So all these things if you are see that Glenmark licenses are having a good uh, growth perspective like ROC, ROE and a good dividend yield they are providing and then debt to equity is zero debt to free company. So uh, the basic parameters wise if you can see financial uh, the Glenmark licenses is having good financials but the thing is that uh, since the Glenmark Pharma is a big company and they are having diversified portfolio 
they are more stable and the glenmark life sciences is a part of was a part of glenmark pharma and now it is a separate company but they are having concentrated portfolio of api if the api business is going very well then the company will show good result and if there is any chance that the cycle goes reversed and the uh, api businesses are not going well then this company will start show uh, low result but as of now currently the uh, uh, parameters and the financials are very strong and very good performance come done by the glenmark life sciences so uh, overall as per current situation glenmark life sciences is having more growth uh, rate and uh, the financials are so good compared to glenmark pharma and glenmark life sciences is having a debt equity zero that's a debt free company and pe is also uh, similar to glenmark pharma and then they are giving good dividend yield glenmark life sciences are giving good dividend yield and then roc roe all these things are good so uh, you can go to the uh, other video of uh, my earlier video glenmark life sciences where i mentioned all the uh, the price chart and how the company is performing what are the investment strategies all those things you can uh, go through the previous video this video was created for mainly the query related to the earlier video so as an answer to that query i have created this video Hope this video is helpful for you. If yes, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you.